What I do with the wax is uh, heat it up in like a turkey baster and I just basically get the wax so it's pliable and in 10 minutes this little piece of wax will be really hard. The faster you are the better and just confidence is key but confidence comes uh, from doing it a lot. Not many people make originals in wax. To do something in clay doesn't work for me. I just love this wax. With sculpture, you overbuild, carve down, build back up, but you always want to make sure that there's a force inside that's pushing out. He always knew he wanted to be a sculptor. We moved to Mangum together so he could open up his studio. Do you want to? Can, oh my God, don't do that. It's getting too big. And then we had Bishop. Being able to afford a building in this little town made it possible for him to really work on his bronzes. I made this piece before you were born, when your mother and I were traveling all the time, and I was looking to get off the road. This piece is about moving forward, carrying your stuff going to a better place. My two boys are fascinated with my work. You know, they see it and they're just amazed I do it. Michael's art has always been amazing to me, that he can sculpt out of just nothing and make amazing figures, and I've always enjoyed them and think, you know, his number one supporter. Um, it's just expensive. It's hard to be a bronze sculptor. What do you think, buddy? Do you think money uh, will make you happy or doing what you love to do? Doing what you love to do. Doing what you love to do? Yeah, so that's, is that success? Yeah, yeah. I encourage anybody who wants to be an artist to do it, but be a dentist on the side. <laughs> and then you can do both and be happy and not worry about being an artist and not eating. Because starving artist is, is, a, is a terrible, terrible cliche, but it's so true. My wife and I, when we got together, we were going to do this together. And she sort of stopped helping me because I wasn't making a paycheck. And that was disappointing to me. There's so many things together cause a marriage to make it or cause a marriage not to make it. I don't know if Michael's success in art would have made our marriage last. He picked a really rough road and when he stopped believing that I was his number one supporter, it made it hard on him and hard on me because we, we weren't fighting the same fight, it didn't seem. I'm very sad about our divorce. We'll talk about it. Oh. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> apparently I'm more sad than I thought. <laughs> um, okay. Um, do you need a tissue? Or? Okay, maybe. <laughs> Sorry. There's more emotion, stronger emotions that come out of depression and failure um, than there is happiness. And that's a hard thing to say, but um, there's just more depth to it, unfortunately. Oh, 
Oh, I hope people who want to do art will do art no matter what. I think it's better if you're not trying to make money because then it doesn't become a job. It doesn't rule your life where you're worried about, oh, if I don't sell this painting, I'm not gonna eat. But I think people who need to do art should do it. And most people who are true artists will find a way. There's a lot of failures in art and it's hard. And it's overcoming them and moving forward and not quitting and not giving up. And that's the theme to my work is you just continue because it's more for the soul and not just for the wallet. Thank you.